Alright, so since a lot of people are having trouble installing the macro, we're going to go ahead and go over exactly how to download it. So first, go over to step one in the macro setup channel, download, visit site, download, you're going to want to download version 2.0. Once you have that download, you don't need to do anything with that, because it allows you to run the actual macro. Step two, we're going to get the most recent version from update log, click, continue to download, put it wherever you want, but make sure you can find it again. Open the file where it's at. This is very important. If you don't do this step, it will not work. You have to right click, extract files. I'm going to put it in my folder here. And then you go find the folder where it's at. And your macro will appear here. Output logs here. I'm going to close that so you can follow the rest of the steps. Macro setup, extract the file, did that. Open the file. You can do that first or when you have everything set up. And now we have to go over to macro settings. This, make sure you read through all of this. If you have any of this, it will not work. Our Roblox window, it has to be as small as possible. If it's slightly bigger, it won't work. Drag it down, make it as small as possible. Your monitor has to be on. Some people, it works for some people, it doesn't if their monitor trims off. If it doesn't work with your monitor off, you can just always put a towel over your monitor. We don't want to move any of these files around in the actual folder. Keep them how they are. We can press F1 to start the macro. Uh, once you actually do start the macro, you cannot tab out of it to go to Discord or something. It has to always be on Roblox. If you have Valorant open or Riot Client or anything, it will not move the mouse. So you can check bottom right, Task Manager, look for Valorant. Another way to see if it's working, you can go to the macro, open it up, hit Open Debug, and move your mouse. If a mouse does not move, you most likely have Riot or Vanguard open somewhere on your computer. We want to set our scaling to 100%. If we go here and type in scale, if this is not at 100%, it will not work. Don't use block strap. If you don't have too many things changing block strap, it has a chance to work, but if it's not working and you're using block strap, try it without it. If you are using block strap and you have custom fonts, disable those. So we're going to want to start in world 2. Disable cosmetics, primary relief. You don't want to have pride on. Pride is way too big, it'll mess up a lot of the settings. And now for the in-game settings, this is one of the most important parts. If you don't have these exact, it will not work. So we're going to go ahead and load in here. Look at our graphics settings. If this is on automatic, it will not work. You have to put it on manual. Put it to one bar, lowest it can go. FPS on 60. Good. Fast mode off. If we go over to in-game settings, fast mode is off. And here, this is where you can disable your cosmetics. You want this to be disabled. Global Shadows on. This is an in-game setting, so we have to go do a raid before starting. We can just start at any raid, doesn't matter. Once you're in, check your settings. Global Shadows on. We have that good. There's a noticeable difference if you have it on or off. Once you do that, you can just go ahead and leave. You don't have to stay in. Now we're going to want to start in a private server. You can start in the public, but there's a chance you just run into someone else's raid and it breaks. You also want to be in world 2 here. And if you have any errors, there's a common errors channel. These are a lot of the common fixes. Now that we're in here, we can go ahead and open the UI for the macro. We're going to select what raid we want to do. I'll just test out Snowy. Open the map. I'm going to place my unit here. You right click where you want it. And I'm going to enable it to my slot 4. I'm going to place it on wave 1. It's going to be my main upgrade. Once you do that, click on the Roblox window. You cannot close update log or it will not work. Go ahead and press F1. And now we can see in current processes that it has started. It's going to move to the raid. Remember that anytime, for whatever reason, if you click out of Roblox, it will stop working. If you don't have every single setting that I showed in this video exactly the same, it will not work. Now that we're in, it's going to zoom out. Now it's going to look for the wave that we put our unit to. Found it. Now it's going to move to where we want to put our unit. Since we put main upgrade, it will click it and open the upgrade menu. And yeah, that's about it. Once it wins, it will retry. And if you get disconnected, it will reconnect you. If you have any problems, you want to go ahead and go into your macro file and go to logs. And then you can see your output file. And then you want to send that in the support channel for any help. And that's about it.